don't believe this. I know. I told him. You had one job. Hey, don't blame this on me. He was driving off. What do you want me to do? Throw myself in front of his car? Uh, yeah. Grammy, you both just shut up for a second. What did he say? He just drove off. He said that he was going to Zidane's and... What? And that he wasn't enough for you and that either you or Steve would know what he was talking about. You! Hi, Michelle. This is all your fault. What's my fault? Robert has gone. He must have seen you try to kiss me. Oh, we're telling everyone about that. Now, sure. ruin today for me, Steve. I will kill you. Right. Okay. Well, you made this mess, so you fix it. Now, go and get him back. Now! Carla! Come in. Come in. Well, go on! in the office with Carla. Is it true Robert's done a runner because you tried to snog her? On her wedding day. Oh, good. Everyone knows about that now, do they? We're going to find him. He said Zidane, yeah? Right, so he's got a 20-minute head start. You'll never catch him. Hey, you're right. I might need some help. <laughs> Tim, yeah, listen, a uh, bit of an odd one. I uh, might need your dad. The now I'm probably going to get into a whole heap of trouble for pressing the TA button for this. Jeffster, you owe me big time. But this isn't actually a traffic report. It's more important than that. I've got a very special guest, Michelle, on the line. Hello, Michelle. It's your wedding day, is that right? Yeah, it is. Um, and uh, I've, I've got a message for, for Robert. I hope we can hear this. I think most people can hear this, and that's probably why I'm going to get fired. What do you want to say, love? Well, um, I want to say, Robert, I'm... what you saw wasn't what it looked like. Steve kissed me out of nowhere. He's a complete idiot. Seriously, I'm going to... A, a, a family show, Michelle? And let's face it, I'm in enough trouble. I'm sorry, but I just want to say, I love you, Robert. I love you, and I don't want anyone else. I choose you. It, it's always you. Well, I've got to stop you there, because my station manager is waving at me, and she does not look happy. He's not coming, is he? They'll find him. I'm putting all my faith into a radio phone-in and Steve McDonald to save my marriage. It's not really about Steve, though, is it? Me and Robert have been doomed from the start. That's not true, really. Really, after everything that's happened. First Rich, then Will, then he gets sick. If that's not the universe telling us we shouldn't be together, then I don't know what is. Well, and you're going to listen to it, are you? The universe? No. What you're going to do is stick two fingers up at it. Because you make your own fate, because you love each other. Right. Is it true you're trying to contact Robert through the radio? That's really your plan? Oh, come on, you've got to admit, that's a tad ambitious. Maybe it's time to start thinking about Plan B. Yeah, like sacking it all off and start necking the champers. Don't think we need to go there just yet, Jenny. Wow. You look perfect. <sighs> I mean, cheating with Steve on my wedding day, really? I know. I'm, I'm stupid, I know that. As does the entire Northwest. I mean, you'll literally broadcast it. <laughs> right, will you lot get out? Oh, yes. Right, take it. Let's go, let's go. You need to talk, don't you? They need their heads banging together. She's right. I mean, I need my head looking at anyway. Uh, I guess I just panicked after everything. Well, can you do me a favour? Can you just forget about everything else, everything that's happened, just forget it all, and just flipping marry me, will you? <laughs> 